Thursday night at Nationals Park, the century-old tradition of congressional baseball continues. We peeked in on the preparations. The world's most powerful baseball teams arrive for practice at sunrise. All right, let's go. The Republicans in Northern Virginia. No, you know, we're gonna do this like the game. The Democrats in Northeast DC. All right, guys, bring it in here. All spring, these leaders of men toil anonymously. Go after the ball, go after the ball. Owning their craft, even though they'll play only one game all year. Be ready. As it turns out, they can really use the practice. Let's don't start out with a meltdown inning. They got the first two guys on, stay calm. Joe Barton, Republican of Texas, leads the GOP squad, which has lost the last four games. You feel any pressure for your job with this losing streak? I do, actually. Mr. Tanner and Mr. Boehner are pretty insistent that they want to win. Republicans are not about losing and looking good. They're, we're about winning, so, so the, the heat's on. This is the lineup. Barton will be counting on players like Jeff Flake, the third baseman and Arizona senator who's kept his baseball skills quietly under wraps for years. So I haven't played since Little League, really. And you're like the best they got. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty low bar, I guess. <laughs> like any clubhouse or caucus, team cohesion will be another of Barton's challenges. Funny, you know, with his voting record recently, I thought he'd be, vote, he'd be hitting from the left side. But the GOP seems to have put its intra-party squabbles aside in pursuit of a higher purpose. We just want to beat the damn Democrats. Uh, that's, uh, that's the main motivation. Yeah, what are your prospects of that this year? It's been a bit tough run for you guys. It's somewhere between zero and none, I think, of beating the really? <laughs> They're pretty good. The Democrats are led by ace pitcher Cedric Richmond of Louisiana, who hurled a one-hitter two years ago in his first outing for Congressman Mike Doyle's squad. There is nobody that I've seen in 19 years that I've been here that's as good as Cedric. The GOP has some unorthodox ideas for neutralizing the fireballer. The Democrats love regulations, yep. so we think there ought to be a new regulation that says uh, Cedric Richmond can only pitch for two innings. <laughs> How serious is it? Very serious. Yeah, I mean, we're plotting. I mean, we may hire somebody to run against him in the primary. For now, Richmond seems content to let his play do the talking. Do you have a message for the Republicans? No, just ask them to take it easy on me. You are, you are so just, humble and modest. Just, just tell, them don't, tell them don't hit me too hard. You're just letting everyone else do the talking. I do, yeah. uh, and my team loves to talk. Exhibit A of the chatter, Coach Doyle's evaluation of rookie GOP slugger Ron DeSantis, the highly touted 34-year-old from Florida's 6th District, who hit this home run on the day we visited. I mean, they got a new guy that they're, they're touting, but you know, he's just a name right now. I'm not saying he's, he's not good. I, I mean, he played college level ball, so he's gotta be a, a decent player, right? He was captain of the baseball team at Yale. But I don't know that Yale's necessarily known as a powerhouse in the baseball league, but. Uh... But for players like DeSantis and Richmond, the game is the rare chance for a freshman rep in his early 30s to take center stage. Well, there's a lot of camaraderie, obviously. It also seems a venue where a strong hitting freshman congressman can get more attention than he might normally get. Well, it's true. You know, you're a heavy hitter on like a committee. That's great, but everyone's usually gone by the time I ask questions. Uh, you know, we'll do an oversight hearing tomorrow. I'm the absolute last person to ask questions because of seniority. So, yeah, it's good. This is the only place you get to hit cleanup. There you go. Yeah, there's a little boy in every everybody. Uh, we all remember when we grew up how we were playing, and uh, baseball is fun, and baseball is America. So this is. This is a little bit of a way that we can recapture our youth and have some fun and also raise some money for charity. First pitch at Nationals Park is at 7 o'clock. Good tickets are still available. That's it for us. See you tomorrow.